hello my people we are here again on victory express tv you know that is where we are please do join us here and tell others all right dss storm kirikiri prison in lagos after threat to osibanjo's daughters live they stormed lagos kirikiri <laughs> you know these dss they're so armed armed to their teeth but yet they are inactive when it comes to terrorism all right all their hands are tied they are tied up they can't act but when it comes to you know let me just read what i have here before i talk the department of state services dss has deployed its operatives to the Kirikiri maximum security prison in lagos Delhi post land on tuesday the personnel said to be more than a dozen arrived at the penitential located in the Apapa area in the late afternoon of Sunday, March 20, um, 12th. Their presence is linked to an alleged attempt on the life of one of the daughters of Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. Osibanjo, a former commissioner of um, justice in Lagos, and his daughter and his wife, Dolapo, have two daughters, Damilola and Fenyi Shola, and a son, Fenyi Folaoluwa. Since arrival of, at Krikri, the DSS agents have been patrolling inside and outside the premises in search of an individual who issued a serious life threat. Delhi was gathered that the targets suspected to be an inmate use a mobile phone which the secret service tracked to the location the dss has been there since sunday evening and of course their presence has brought about some panics the officials believe the person they are looking for is in the cell or somewhere around the prison a source hinted DSS Public Relations Officer Peter Afunanya requested a text message when contacted for a reaction. There was no reply as at the press time. All right, this brought about uh, so many reactions. So many reactions. People are reacting. They are saying, where is Osibanjo? All right. Nobody is uh, hearing from him. He's not like... Uh, it's not just like a vice president. It's just like a nobody in that assault. Nobody hears from him for a very, very long time. <laughs> and then DSS that can trace a text message of a threat to location of the prison. You know, they are there since Sunday. How many calls and text messages of threats of lives of citizens of this country? Citizens of this country, even abduction of school girls, abduction of women, abduction of people, beheading them here and there. DSS will never react to that. Have you seen the select work they do? Hmm. They are for few. And these few are the people that are caging Nigeria. Nobody said they should not save uh, Osibanjo's daughter, but please, all head na head. Okay, if you claim to be sophisticated in your security work, why don't you secure Nigerians? Where have you been when during the election, people will be tearing and doing a lot of atrocities during the polls? Where have you been that school children will be adopted and they will stay there in the bush for three years? No DSS will go into the bush to search for Fulani terrorists. They don't do that. All they are doing is for the eye to see. They're just trying to camouflage. They're just trying to show that they're at work. Please, we know you are not at work. Your own is to make sure that Nandekano did not ex escape the SS custody. That's all your work there. Nothing more, nothing less. But I tell you that Chukwokika Biamapuri Mihenile will see Ohamadike true. All right? You don't go after terrorists. If you do, I know you will pack the whole of Fulani youths 
who are armed with AK-47 rifles, you will pack them in that prison and then you will disarm them. But hence you are not looking for them. How would they be dis uh, disarmed? How would they be found by you? You are not working. You are inactive. Stop deceiving yourself. We know you. Stop deceiving the public. Enough of this deceit up and down. Nigeria is no more. Nigeria has no solution. Everything has gone hellwire. No security for us. Nothing of such. Nothing. That's just the truth.